Well, if you wanted to make it as a female gymnast, the Caroli Ranch up in the Huntsville area was the place to train. But after a shameful chapter in history, the question now turns to the future of that facility. And with the Tokyo Games now underway, tonight KPRC2's Joel Eisenbaum is taking a closer look at the new owner of that ranch. Deep inside Walker County's woods, it's a long, bumpy road to get there. In fact, it's hard to believe that for decades, this was the path to Olympic gold. There were uh, school buses several times a week coming up and down the road. At the Caroli Ranch, they bred champions. They practically minted gold medals. Mary Lou Retton trained here. Simone Biles trained here. The Carolis pumped out so many champions. In 2011, the U.S. Olympic Committee named this place its official Olympic training site for women's gymnastics. A 2,000-acre ranch in the middle of nowhere. But its famous founders have now moved away and their namesake ranch has just sold to a new owner more interested in the property's future than its past. And it's a shameful past. This is one of the places where the former team doctor sexually abused elite gymnasts. It is hard to believe that this sprawling, eerily quiet, largely vacant training facility was once the epicenter of U.S. women's gymnastics. And the stories you hear now was dirty, they weren't fed well, they didn't have privacy, um, the bathrooms were disgusting. There was never any cell service, so I couldn't really talk to my parents because the service was super poor. Katie Nakamura, who holds two world gymnastics titles, trained at Caroli Ranch over several summers, starting at age 11. She was not a victim of abuse. But other elite gymnasts say the dismal conditions at the ranch left them vulnerable to abuse. The kids who camped here had very little contact with the outside world. The thread that is most common is that these young women describe it as a place of horror. Michelle Simpson Teagle represents more than a dozen gymnasts in a civil lawsuit against USA Gymnastics. I had clients who were self-harming before they had to go because they wanted to avoid it. There is no corroborated evidence of any criminal conduct by Bella or Marta Caroli. To be crystal clear about it, the Carolis, Bella and Marta, both 78 years old, are being sued by former gymnasts but have not been charged with a crime. You know, uh, they were fully exonerated. There was a, a, a criminal investigation in Walker County, number and no evidence was turned up that they had anything to do with the molestation that occurred. Caroli Ranch closed as a training center in 2018. And just weeks ago, the entire property was sold to a local lumber company for $6 million. That company declined to speak with us about their plans for the ranch. But gymnastics most likely isn't part of the plan. And Bella and Marta Caroli have already moved out. In fact, their attorney says they've moved back to Romania. They're not in the best of health, and it requires uh, a lot of upkeep out of that ranch, and they just they couldn't do it anymore. For the Caroli Ranch, it spells the end of the line. But for the kids who were victimized here, it's not over yet. I really am hoping that whoever did something like that to any of like those girls, I hope they are held accountable. The former USA Gymnastics president is accused of removing documents from the Caroli Ranch. Walker County charged Stephen Penny with tampering. And here he is after U.S. Marshals arrested him in 2018. His attorney declined to comment as his case is still pending. Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC 2 News. Thank you.